the ultimate method to cook a chicken wing, and that is according to one of my favorite TV hosts, Alton Brown, and he does it a little different, but if you've got a Ninja Foodie Deluxe, you've got the perfect device to do exactly what he did all in one pot, and, and this is especially for a big crowd. This works really, really well. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. Let's cook some ultimate chicken wings. Okay, so Alton Brown's method, which makes this work perfect with the Ninja Foodie. If you've watched my videos, I have praised this device for its steaming abilities, and it does excellent. So what he does is he steams the wings first for 10 minutes, and he does 24 wings. Now that works perfect if you ask me, for large crowds. Because once he steams them, he puts them in the refrigerator for at least one hour. Well, for a large crowd, you could steam some, you know, whatever, every how many wings you need ahead of time, pull them out, drop them in here, and air fry them, you know, as you need them, 12, 15, whatever at a time. So tonight, what we're gonna do, now I've done 12 wings in here, it worked excellent. I've never done what we're gonna try tonight, I'm gonna get as many on here as I can. Now he did 24, so I'm gonna try and get 24 drumettes on here. I don't know I'm gonna get that, but I'm gonna try. I want them equally spaced. So once we get those steamed for 10 minutes, I'm gonna put them on a cooling rack like he does, stick them in a the refrigerator for one hour, come back, I'm gonna show you how well they do, and I think you're gonna be impressed. So I'm gonna get some of that started, and I'll be right back. I was able to get 20 wings on the dual double rack, and they're not crowded, so there's 10 on top, 10 on bottom. I'm using about one and three quarter cups of water because, you know, it's not like pressure cooking. We're, we're steaming, so there is some moisture, you know, leaving. I don't want it to, uh, you know, run dry. So all I'm gonna do is set this right here, and I got it by the wrong thing. Grab this like this and set that right there. Kind of ironically, I'm using the Instant Pot lid. <laughs> but any glass lid will do uh, with the uh, Ninja Deluxe. And I've already got it set to steam. It's already on 10 minutes. It's preheating. Once it comes to steam, uh, gets to steam what it figures is steam function, it'll start counting down. And after those 10 minutes, we're going to pull them out, put them right here, set them in the refrigerator for an hour. And then we're gonna come back and uh, do all the uh, crisping air frying magic on them. I'll be back. And there it is. <clears throat> and it took it like five minutes. I mean, it was, I ran a timer. I did start it late, but it took it like five minutes to come to get that one and three quarter cups of water uh, to steam pressure. So that worked real well. All I'm gonna do is set these out and I'm gonna let them drain just a little bit and then we're gonna transfer them to that pot. But I will show you right quick, if I can, how much fat rendered out and uh, quite a bit. And, and you can see they're a different color. They look different because a lot of fat's gone. So I'm gonna let those sit a minute. We're gonna transfer them over there to that and put them in the refrigerator. Okay, and, and for the record, I wanted to show something. And uh, they're ready to go in the refrigerator. Make sure you can see that. And this one right here, 160, that 161. That is actually all chicken needs to be. So it's technically cooked. Uh, it, again, you know, I, I'm not sure about all the, that's the largest one on here, but we got 161 on the largest chicken wing I have. I'm about to set those in the refrigerator for an hour, like I said, and I'll be back. Okay, there they are after right at one hour and 30 minutes in the refrigerator. And I'm gonna take a temp read on the same wing we took one on a while ago, and we are 54, 53 degrees. Okay, so now, last time I did 12 wings, they may not have sat in the refrigerator quite as long as, as, as they have this time, so there, there's going to be some differences. But my point is, is that you could do this ahead of time and have these in the refrigerator and pull out 12 at a time or whatever you need. But tonight, 
I, and I know 12 at a time does excellent. So tonight, though, we're going to try all 20 wings right here. I'm going to use the broil feature on Ninja. Uh, we're going to just set it for, say, like, you know, 20 minutes or whatever, and we're going to just watch temps. I'm going to shake them every once in a while. We're going to kind of watch the temperatures on them until they get about where we want and the skin gets like we want. And uh, I'm going to, one thing else, I'm going to walk outside with that pan and I'm going to spray them with this avocado oil. And that way I don't make a mess in here and I can kind of roll them around and get them coated real well. But then I'm going to put all 20 of them right here. But my point is, you know, if you had this bucket full of them, full of them you could just pull out what you needed as the kids came in or the people came in for your ball game. But anyhow, I'm going to get that started. I'll be right back. Okay, there they are, the 20 wings. That's what they look like in the basket. It's, it doesn't look overcrowded. That's probably the maximum, you know, I would probably go with. But, and I have, by the way, I've cleaned. This has been washed out. There's no water or anything in it. I'm going to set that right there. We're going to set, turn the power on. We're going to go to broil. If I, let's see if you can see that. I think you can. I'm going to move it just a little bit. Uh, we're going to set it to broil feature, which is 450 degrees. It's set for 10 minutes. Now, I may move that up just, just because I don't want to have to worry about it. Not that we're going to go by any time I set here. We're going by uh, look and feel and, and, and maybe temp. So we are off and running. And as you see, I did not preheat. And I, I just... Don't think it's necessary. You know what? Maybe it is, but I'm not doing it. We'll see how they turn out in just a minute, though. Be back. All right, we're right at 10 minutes. I'm going to take a look. And they they need, in fact, I'm going to toss those around just a little bit. I mean, I can hear if they're snapping and popping. And you can hear it happening. But I'm going to move them around a little bit at the 10-minute mark and get them back going again so but there you go there's what they look like after i tossed them around a little bit you can hear them, but get that lid back down and get it going all right i let it run to this is 16 minutes of cook time let's see what they look like they they look good and what we're about to do i believe i'm going to do a temp read right quick just because 180, 180, 190, we're, we're good, 190, and chicken wings will definitely stand 190. So I'm about to get those out. I'm going to put them in here, and like Alton says, you got to get the hot wing sauce on early and as and soon as you can. So that's what I'm about to do. All right, there they are, fresh out of the fryer. So what we're going to do is put, and I'm telling you, it's my favorite now, it's red hot wings sauce now it's not their normal red hot it would be really hot if you just put that on there i just shake this on and so we're talking about 15 minutes to be i mean i probably could have pulled them at 12 because we they were done uh when i got finished steaming them so point is just make wings for the football game or the kids coming home let those sit just like that just a minute and steam in that and then we're going to get some out and see how they taste okay so kind of as a recap and uh take my word the wings are as good as they always are and all i did was pour that on them now you saw what else i had you can go as far as you want or let your guest you know decide what they want on them because you've cooked them ahead of time and all you're really re all you're really doing is reheating them in uh, 12 to 13 minutes. But, I mean, you tell me who wouldn't eat those. And that is, uh, like I said, that's hard to beat for under 15 minutes and uh, 20 wings at a time. I think there's like eight wings on there. So you get almost three servings out of what I just did. Uh, no, hard to beat. It's the ultimate wing recipe. Uh, Alton Brown's a brilliant man. It's a great idea to steam ahead of time, in my opinion. Hey, thank you all for watching. 
I'm not going to try and eat one of these on camera because it, it, it'll get kind of nasty, but take my word. I've already ate them. They're excellent. You've seen the temps, and uh, you've seen me eat this before. This is my favorite. Y'all come back to me. I love y'all all. Have a good night.